the extracellular matrix, or ECM. Several components are illustrated here, so I'll just name them collagen, which is something you may have heard of, fibronectin, proteoglycan, laminin, and the molecules that are actually in the phospholipid bilayer at the bottom of this picture are receptors called integrin. And you can see the integrin binding to collagen. You can see integrin binding to a molecule of fibronectin. And off to the right, you can see a molecule of laminin binding to integrin. So integrin is actually a multifunctional receptor. Well, we find an extracellular matrix superimposed on top of the glycocalyx, the basic sugar coating of cells. The extracellular matrix gives sheets of cells, such as epithelial cells, a great deal of strength. I refer to something called the basement membrane. Well, the cells of the epithelium will be attached to this basement membrane via the extracellular matrix. So it's not easy to pull cells off of the lining of a blood vessel, for example, because these interactions in aggregate though non-covalent, are very strong. So another case, remember, of strength in numbers of non-covalent bonds. Fibronectin, laminin, and collagen are all then capable of articulating other parts of the extracellular matrix to membrane receptors called integrins. So what do I mean articulating other parts of the extracellular matrix? Well, you can see out there in the upper part of the illustration, proteoglycans. These are proteins with rather large numbers of oligosaccharide sugars linked to them. These do not bind directly to any portion of the cell membrane, but they do bind, for example, to fibronectin, or they might bind to collagen. We also have fibronectin, a multifunctional protein, with many binding sites. And so you can see fibronectin molecules binding to laminin, binding to collagen, binding to proteoglycan, and of course binding to integrin when it gets close enough to bind to one of the integrin receptors on the plasma membrane. So this is obviously a very complex system designed to build up a structure immediately outside the cell that will attach a cell to a surface and or give it a great deal of strength in a tissue. I mentioned proteoglycans. They function to enrich the surfaces of cells with even more sugars than the sugars that are covalently bound to the surfaces of cells.